Now it's time for the final review, the final re-recorded review. It is time for the review of the second best exotic Marigold Hotel. A clumsy title and a title which is oddly prophetic. Oddly. I have to say that, in honesty, I didn't see the original, so I can't say whether it is the second best exotic Marigold Hotel movie. As was mentioned by John in the original review, it does, it's a title which doesn't exactly fill you with that much confidence. Saying that your movie is second best, it kind of makes you feel... Oh dear. Now the story itself is as follows. In a bid to expand the hotel's business, Sonny and Muriel travel to America to find a backer. They find one, but they will only invest in their new project if they pass an evaluation by a hotel inspector. And from there on, wacky shenanigans occur. It may sound as if I'm being somewhere flippant towards the movie, as though I'm being sarcastic towards it. I'm trying not to. It's difficult not to, but I'm trying not to because this isn't a bad movie. It isn't a horrible movie. It isn't a terrible movie by any stretch or means of the imagination. It is, to a certain degree, fairly limp and fairly ineffectual. It is lacking in any kind of bite. It is fairly tame. The plot idea, the plot synopsis, is very sitcom-like. It's the kind of thing that you'd expect to see in Faulty Towers, or Are You Being Served? It's not winning awards in originality in that sense, and many of the different plot threads within it have the exact same setup that you would expect to see in a sitcom. It's based around wacky misunderstanding, somebody mishearing something, or somebody misseeing something, which in itself isn't exactly new, or bold, or terribly developing the cause of cinema but it is sufficient it is okay it's not groundbreaking it's not gonna revolutionize things it is just what it is which is perfectly fine perfectly serviceable it will not change the world this movie is not the best movie of the year thus far it's not the worst movie of the year thus far it is distinctly I wouldn't say average. Average, it sounds like a negative thing because it's not a negative movie. Leaving the movie, leaving the cinema, I felt fairly calm. I felt very at peace. I was a feeling, however, that could have just been gotten by me just sitting in the backyard for 20 minutes. It's a very calming, very cathartic movie that feels nice while I was watching it. There's nothing about it which is horrible. There's nothing about it which is aggravating. But given the star power in it, you kind of wish there was something a little bit more substantial to it. One of the problems that I have with it is that there's quite a lot going on. Not in a way which feels confusing, not in a way which feels aggravating, but in a way that we- in a way that makes it feel as though a lot of it is totally insubstantial. There are many plot threads which exist purely and simply so it gives certain characters something to do. And very rarely does it seem to have a knock-on effect with anything else going on within the movie. And there are certain plot threads which are naturally better than others. The plot thread surrounding Sonny and his uh, fiance is interesting. The plot thread surrounding uh, Judy Dench and Bill Nye's characters is interesting. The plot thread around Muriel and her age is interesting. The rest of it isn't really that substantial, which is a shame because there's a lot of talent going into this movie. There's a lot of skill going into this movie. Everybody does a fantastic job. Everybody is charming. Everybody is interesting. Everybody can be funny. But at the end of the day, it never really amounts to something that can make me say, you have to see this movie. This is a must-see movie because it simply isn't. There's nothing about this movie which makes me feel as though it's justified being in cinema which may sound like the ultimate condemning of any kind of movie saying that it shouldn't be in cinemas but to be blunt it is it shouldn't really be in cinemas because there is nothing about this movie which couldn't have been done or as a tv special uh, something on netflix or on bbc or itv these ca- this story the stories within it would have been perfectly fine as that As a whole movie, it is a movie where you see all the characters that you know and love, if you saw the original, doing their bit once again and being the same wacky, lovable characters they were the first time round. There's nothing about them which is horrible. There's nothing about them which makes me feel as though I don't like them. They're all nice, they're all charming, but it is, at the end of the day, nothing that couldn't have been done in some other capacity. The story is and does and goes everywhere that you would expect it to do it doesn't change anything it is by the numbers just the facts ma'am a sequel movie in every single regard and it feels very very nasty 
be being so negative towards it because once again there is nothing about it which is bad there's nothing about it which is horrible this is a movie which if you were a fan of the original then you will get quite a lot of enjoyment out of it because it's the same characters you know and love doing wacky silly things but at the same time i wouldn't say watch it in cinema i'd say wait till it's out on dvd wait until it's out on netflix wait until it's on tv because there isn't anything about it which makes me say this is a must-see movie, which I'm sad to say because I would have loved to have gone to this movie and been won over by it because, I'll be honest, I wasn't looking forward to seeing it. I was relieved to see that it was a good movie, that it can be an enjoyable movie, but there's nothing about it which is must-see. There's nothing about it which makes me say, go see it, because there isn't. If you're fan- Once again, you're fans of the original, you may get something out of it. If you're being taken along with a relative to see it, then you won't find it offensive. You won't find it substantial. I would have, to a certain degree, liked it to be terrible because at least then it gives you something to genuinely talk about. But at the end of the day, it is exactly what you thought it would be. A little bit more because it leaves me feeling a little bit uplifted. But at the end of the day, nothing that warrants a cinema visit, which is a shame, a very big shame. I would have liked to recommend it. I'd like to say that it was new and interesting, but it really, really isn't. It simply isn't, which is a sad thing to say, but that's just the way it is. If you're going to see it, you'll enjoy it. If you don't want to see it, don't bother. Really don't bother. <laughs>